And, uh, you know, not every kid who doesn't go to school until college uh, right. decides to apply to Harvard. Tell us a little bit about uh, how you decided or he decided on colleges to apply to. Okay, well, he, he got into the whole, um, you know, he started going to the road shows and stuff where they'd come to town and they'd talk about the colleges. And I'll tell you right now, I did not encourage him to apply to Harvard. I thought that it, I thought, good luck. Just like when he said he wanted to be an actor, I'm like, yeah, good luck. I thought the same thing about Harvard. I mean, he, he got a really high score the time he took the SAT and his grades are really high. And of course, I think he is a wonderful special child, but I'm also his mother, right? And so, you know, the fact that he's a middle-class boy, you know, white boy, um, who's not first generational college, you know, and yeah, he's an actor that kind of makes him interesting, but it wasn't like he's one of the kids from Stranger Things, right? You know, so I'm just thinking that's not enough of a hook to get him in. So he's kind of looking at Stanford. He's interested in Stanford. So we go to this road show where the people from Stanford are presenting, but the people from Harvard were also presenting. And the guy from Harvard gets in front of the room and he says, I'm here to tell every single person in this room, you can afford to go to Harvard. And I'm thinking, yeah, 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 yeah. And he goes, we have the most generous financial aid of any school. And so I'm telling you, we have a, a financial aid process where nobody has to take loans out. And so oh, that sounded better to me, right? You know, and, but then he shows the first slide and it's of Annenberg Hall. And that is the freshman dining hall. And Caleb gasped and he said, it looks like Hogwarts. <laughs> you know? And so, you know, he's a big Harry Potter fan. And so he suddenly was like, interested in Harvard because of a dining room. And so when we went, every summer we go up on this camping trip in the Northeast. So when we went up there, we went on a tour. And, uh, and also the other thing, at that point, Princeton was his first choice for a ridiculous reason. And it was because his character in the show, The Sun, was headed to Princeton. So he'd heard so much about Princeton. He'd been talking Princeton. So he, he thought it would be hilarious if he actually went to Princeton in real life. So we also visited Princeton. And after visiting both schools, he decided he did not want to apply to Princeton and Harvard suddenly became his top choice. And partially it was just, you know, the girl that gave us a tour was first generation college. She was really down to earth. Um, we were just chit chatting with her and uh, he kind of told her about his background and she said, look, I'm not in admissions, but you kind of seem exactly like the kind of kid that they want to let in here. And I thought, oh, well, you know, maybe he does have a chance. And so, um, so a lot of people say, oh, Harvard, they don't like homeschoolers. And it's because of that stupid essay that a woman at the law school wrote. Uh, but she's in law school. The law school is not the college. It's part of the university, but it's not the college. And they do let homeschoolers in and they let him in. So I, I don't think that the, the school overall is as anti-homeschool as everybody seems to think it is. Yeah. Well, fair enough. She's, she's an exception. So before going to the Kath question right. and the question, I think you okay. mentioned first generation college. You know, just uh, say a little bit more about that. Oh, first generation? Well, so my husband and I are both first uh, generational college students like we both came from working class families right and so there's just a little something different about us <laughs> you know we're not as polished and uh i think that you know because the girl who gave us the tour you know was she's very down to earth right and you know she had she wasn't i mean there's a book called excellent sheep right there a lot of kids are really groomed on this path Yes. And and so um, I think it was nice for him to meet somebody who clearly had not been on that same path and he really connected with her. And and the people that spoke in the presentation that they gave, uh, it just made us feel very comfortable. Like I had had some preconceived notions about the school that I had been wrong about. 